everyone, a complex back with another video, and today I wanted to chat with you about the events that are live within the Cataclysm. Currently, yesterday, Anthem uh, had the Cataclysm drop, which is wicked exciting, and with it came three of the Cataclysm events. I do believe that as time progresses within the Cataclysm, they will be opening up more of the events, but to start, it's just these three. I just wanted to go over how to do them with you, just in case you're having any trouble uh, getting through them, because I know a few of them can be a little confusing. This first one is the Ring of Magnus event. It's super easy. You've kind of seen this before in various other quests within Anthem. It's just interacting with these points and they drop down into the ground and you want to get that done as quickly as possible kind of thing. Once all of the rods are in the ground, then there'll be a crystal in the middle that you can shoot and that will end the event. So after the Ring of Magnus, I personally like to go to Brittaheim. I think that it makes the most sense. You're going to go up this, I don't, it's a bridgey thingy. It's it's a thingy. Just go that way up the bridgey thingy and you'll see Brittaheim straight ahead. I know I'm super, super descriptive about that. Um, but I do think it makes sense to kind of go Ring of Magnus, Brittaheim, and then Cassus Forge. And you'll kind of see why in a minute once we get to Cassus Forge and then how you get to the boss battle. Brittaheim is probably the most confusing out of all the current puzzles. Um, it requires getting echoes and then putting those echoes um, in an underwater area to unlock an extra echo. Uh, and as you can see, the echoes up top are locked behind pressure plates. So it's helpful if you have one person stand on the pressure plate and another person grab the echo. Uh, if you are fast enough though, most of them you can actually do on your own. Uh, at least I've been able to with my interceptor. I haven't tried with like my ranger or my col I don't think the colossus would necessarily be fast enough, maybe. Um, I do know the interceptor though for most of them can be fast enough. But once you pick up the echoes, you want to go under this bridge and then into the water. It kind of looks like a pond and like nothing should be in there, but trust me, there's an underwater area. There are two portals here that you want to pop the echoes into. Um, and you'll see that barrier that was up before we put the echoes in. You do not want to go through that barrier with an echo because you will lose that echo. So you want to place two echoes on the outside to pop down the barrier and then there's one on either side and it releases that middle echo now down here there's also um those blue little notes so while you're there you might as well pick them up there is an achievement for or it's a challenge to get so many and it does reward you with some stuff once you've picked up the middle one or somebody has, you want to take the two outer ones or the, the two inner ones that you just placed to unlock it. You want to get those. Then once you're through that barrier, then you can pick up these outer two. You can carry three at a time. So if you're coordinating with people, you can coordinate that. If not, just make sure you get those three and then head up and then place them. And then somebody can go back and get those other two or you can, depending on what your teammates are doing. Um, and then you can see exactly where to place them. It's very close to where that crystal's located. There are the red uh, arrows that will turn green as you're placing crystals, or um, echoes rather, to unlock the crystal. So you can kind of see as you're coming up out of the water to where you might need to go. Um, and then once all of the echoes are placed, Faye should let you know that the barrier is down and that everything's been delivered. And then uh, you just shooty shoot the crystal and then that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, that is Brittaheim. It looks a little confusing to start, but it is, um, pretty quick and easy to do once you get the hang of it. So, and then the last event to do uh, would be Cassa's Forge. Uh, it is across the way from this, kind of to the right. Uh, if you can't find it or you're having trouble finding it, if you open up your map, there is a way to track it on PC. It's the space bar once you click on the point. I don't know what it is on console, but you can track it. So you do get that waypoint. And then as you're going, you kind of want to head towards those waterfalls. And you'll see a little dome and you can wait in the dome for a few minutes if you need to, uh, if your stability gets too low on your javelin. So the last event is Cassa's Forge. This one is a little tricky if you don't know what's happening, but you want to pick up these fragments. There's a barrier that you can't get through until it goes down. So you can see inside here that triangle is red. Now it's green so I can go through. And then there's another barrier preventing you from getting to the relic. That'll go down a little bit after your other barrier goes down. So you can't make it a smooth transition. You do have to wait. Um, and then you place the fragment in and then that's that. And there are four of them, two on either side. So if you have a team that kind of has done this before, it can go relatively quickly. Um, and then once the fragments are all placed, there's a crystal in the middle to shoot. 
And then that's it. It's pretty, it can go pretty fast. Um, but guys, that's pretty much all of the events that are happening right now for the Cataclysm. If you have any questions on how any of the events are working, leave it down below in the comments, or you can find me on Twitch. The link for my uh, Twitch page is in the, the description uh, down below. We'd love to have you there. But when more events pop up for the Cataclysm, which should hopefully be sometime soon, I believe they said that they were going to be releasing and then periodically throughout the, I think the Cataclysm is supposed to be six weeks long. Um, so once new events pop up, I will make a new video going over it in detail. So stay tuned for that. Y'all, thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned a little bit. I hope you're enjoying the Cataclysm. How are you enjoying the Cataclysm? By the way, I'm enjoying it a lot. The loot's been a lot better for me so far. I'm having fun. I like the, the level design so far. So I will be doing a thoughts video on that sometime very soon. So stay tuned for that as well. All right, y'all, that is going to be it from me today. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your night and or day, depending on where you are in the world. And I will catch you next time. Bye, guys.